Hi, my name is Dave Pereira, and I'm the Digital Optimization Strategist at Creative MMS here in Philadelphia. And we'd like to share with you four SEO tips for businesses during COVID-19. Now, these tips can help you at any stage of your campaigns, but also post-COVID or come what may. So let's get started. The first SEO tip is do your research. You want to understand your audience more. You want to understand their search intents. What is it exactly that they're looking for? How is it that they speak? What's their concerns? What's their pain points? You also want to look into trends. Trends within your industry. Now, if you can do that, you'll be able to communicate with your audience a lot more effectively. And that really is the name of the game. The more that you engage your audience uh, using their language, using what's important to them, the more that they will interact with your domain, the more they'll interact with your brand. The second SEO tip is avoid keyword stuffing. Now, you've already done the research. So keyword stuffing is when you identify that target keyword term and you just repeatedly use it over and over and over again within content, but it doesn't read naturally. It, 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 it just seems like you're just completely using it over and over again. And we've had a lot of businesses do that. They just overuse their target term. They just place it into content over and over again. Don't do that. What you want to do is after you've done your research and you identify what the topic of a page is going to be, you're then going to identify what that target keyword term is and its keyword variations. They're the same thing as your target keyword term, but just not saying it. So it's not saying your target keyword term, but people search in different ways. So you want to make sure that you reduce the amount of times so that you're over-optimizing and focus more on creating conversational content. Focus more on what is important to your target audience. When you do that, you're going to notice a great impact. You're going to notice that you're going to engage with an audience more, and in turn, they will interact with your domain a lot more. The third SEO tip is keyword cannibalization. Keyword cannibalization happens when you're trying to rank for that target keyword term on one page, but multiple other pages are also trying to rank for that target keyword. Now what happens is all of those pages start to compete against each other. Now, Google is going to rank all of those pages, but if you have a top tier page that you really want to rank for that top keyword term, and you have several other pages that are trying to rank for it, Google may select a page of less quality. It may select or give more page rank to a page that isn't uh, as effective as that top tier target page that you really want to be seen for in search results. So you want to make sure that you find your topic, identify that target keyword term, and make sure that you structure out your page that's easy to read, but also that satisfies a search intent. So when it comes to cannibalization or keyword cannibalization, what you want to do is make sure that each page has one target keyword term and then use the uh, secondary terms or keyword variations that you've already learned in your research and make sure that they end up in that same uh, resulting optimized content. And the fourth SEO tip is optimize your page titles. Now, what you want to do is you want to take the target keyword term, you've already researched it, that's a search intent. You know, one of the things that we've seen a lot of people do is they, they try to add as many keyword terms to their page title as possible and hope that they get lucky. At Creative MMS, that's not what we do. What we do is we focus on your audience. We focus on search intent. We focus on increasing traffic for you which is then going to increase conversions. And the only way we can do that is if we can influence users. So when you're taking a look at your page title, think about using your target keyword term within that page title and make it, inf uh, make it as, as effective as possible. And when I say that, I mean the page title is going to show up within the search results. 
and you have to influence user behavior. You want a user, when they put in that search intent, you want them to click on you and not your competitors. You really want to be part of that chain reaction when they see their search intent and they land on your page. You want to be part of that. You know, so when it comes to optimizing your page titles, make sure that target keyword term is in that page title. It's almost like a, a, a headline or almost like a billboard within search results. So get their attention. Influence user behavior, which then will increase conversions once they land on an optimized landing page. If you use these SEO tips, at best, your domain is going to perform better and your pages are going to rank better within Google. If you want more information, check out that link below in the description and we'll talk soon.